Hi everyone, today I have some more of the Shopkins Real Little shoes to share with you. Um, I got some of these while I was away on holiday and people were interested to know what other dolls they would fit. So I thought I would open up the new ones that I've got. These are one of the sets that I got while I was away. And um, I did do a video on that. So if anyone's interested in seeing which ones I got, you can pop over and have a look. I got three packs this time because when you order them from Smith's Online, they only let you order three packs for some reason, which is daft because if you go in the shop, you can buy 12 if you want. Anyway, I got three, so I thought I would open these up and we'd have a look at them and then we can try them on a variety of different dolls that I've got. So here's this box. They all come with this on the side, a little picture. Then they come wrapped up in some tissue paper. Oh, looks like I've got a double, but I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I got this set. I do already have this set, but that's fine. So that's that set. That's the only trouble with blind bags, isn't it? You don't, you just don't know what you're going to get, whether you're going to get doubles or not. This box is all pink. It doesn't have any of the, um, like this one's got some of this on it. It doesn't have any of that on it. It's a plain pink one, so maybe it'll be a different one to what I've had. I don't think I've had a plain pink box before. Oh, so I've got, now these are actually plain pink shoes. They're plain pink trainers and I didn't have those. The last pair I got that I thought was a pair of all pink ones turned out to be ones that you dipped in water and then a coating comes off and you get a, um, a surprise one inside. So there's 25 pairs and I've got five different ones out of the seven I've opened so far. I've got one more to open. So the all pink ones are called Pretty in Pink. These are the ones I had that came all pink like this and you had to put them in water to reveal this, which I love. Um, Wild Child are the ones I got doubles of, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I like those. So we've got that pair of high tops, so we'll try those on the different dolls. And then I've got the last pair to open. Now you see this box is different again. It's got the pattern all the way around the top, but no pattern on the bottom. And then you have to snip it at the front because it has a little bit of a thing there. And then we've got, ooh, we've got these pink, black and yellow trainers. So they're a trainer. Whereas these are a high top. The high top ones, the hole in the top seems to be smaller. And those ones are called energized. That's those ones. So I have got a good few dolls to try them on. So let's see, first I've got a live doll. I was asked by Marisol if they would fit live and was it Liv? Liv and Moxie Teen. So I've got Liv and Moxie Teens to try them. Now Liv's feet are a similar size to Barbie's, but they're flat. Um, I do think they'll fit, but I think they'll be a bit big. Let's try and see. It's actually getting the foot in that's... Um, makes a difference as well you can get the foot in some of them and not in others and i can't actually get her foot in there not without risking i'm worried i'm going to risk breaking her foot and i don't want to break her foot so whilst i think if you if you cut them down the back i think you would get them on her but uh, you know whether you want to do that or not is another thing isn't it these real littles are not cheap they're five pounds a pair which is quite expensive for a pair of barbie shoes but i do really like them no they won't fit on they won't fit on the lovely live girl sorry babe they won't fit you they won't fit her she, she has to have her you see the holes in the top of her boots are bigger and she's got that um split at the back so you can get them on on her quite easily but no i think i do think if you split the back they would fit her 
Let's see what other, if we've got another style we could try on there. No, I think, I do think there is only these two styles, like the trainer and the high top. Um, I'll try them, but I don't think that will make any difference. I don't think we'll be able to get a foot in there. Well, I have got a foot in, but, and the shoe is staying on, but you can see that they are a lot bigger than the shoes that she normally wears. I mean, that doesn't really matter. If you wanted to put them on her for display, you could do. So for some reason, they were a little bit easier to get on and she does, I can get them on her. Basically, they're too big, but they will stay on because this hole at the top is smaller. So she can wear them, but they're too big. But they look okay for display. So yeah, you can get you can get them on a live doll. Oh crikey, I do go on. And then I've got a Mycene boy. His feet are quite a bit bigger, aren't they? Let's see. I don't think they're gonna fit him, but yeah, they fit him look. They were difficult to get on, but because he doesn't have a joint in his ankle, I wasn't worried about breaking his ankle. Yeah, they're difficult to get on. I suggest warming them up a bit, maybe. But they do fit the Mycene boys. So, so far they fit the Mycene. Oh, trousers fell down. So far they fit the Mycene boy and they fit the Liv. Now, the Mycene girls mostly have high-heeled feet and they're the same size as a Barbie. So, they fit Barbies but are a bit loose. So, they would fit the Mycene girls too. Then I've got my lovely Hula Teresa. My friend Ian gave me my lovely Hula Teresa. I absolutely love her. But she has flat feet and I was thinking, oh, I wonder if she'll fit in these shoes. So, so far, I think all the ones we've tried will fit the, the shoes, but not the high tops because the high tops are harder to get on because they've got a smaller hole. I'm going to try Teresa in the high tops. Um, no, I can't, you see what I mean? I can't get a foot to go in there. It's, there's too much of a, of a, I mean, if I really forced it, it would go in. So maybe if I warmed it up, but if I try it in the normal trainer size, I do think they'll fit. So Teresa is a vintage Barbie and she has flat feet. So they fit on the vintage Barbies with flat feet. You can see that they're too big for her, but it doesn't really matter. For display purposes, they look fine, I think, anyway. These are just the basic trainers. They're not the high tops because I can't get the high tops to fit. Next, I've got this Cindy girl. I found that Cindy doll's feet are a different shape to Barbie's feet. I'm sure anybody who collects Cindy's already knows that, but... I was wondering if they'd fit our Cindy. You can see they have this uh, more of a shaped foot or a differently shaped foot. So she, her foot, hold on, I'm getting a mixed up in the chain. Well, they do, they do look massive on her though. <laughs> She's got her foot in, but they look massive. She's far too uh, sophisticated to wear such big clodhoppers, but they do fit her. They fit her and they would stay on. They're a bit wobbly, but they, for display, they would fit her and they would stay on. And the thing is with these bigger shoes means that you don't need a stand because they'll stand up easier. That's, you know. So let's try her in the high tops. She's got a more rubbery foot, so I'm not worried about, oh yeah, they fit her, but crikey. Look how big they are on her. <laughs> Poor old Cindy, she don't want them on, does she? You can get them on her, but they're loose and uh, they're too big, really, for, for the Cindy. We'll put her back in her little stylish mules. <laughs> then I've got my lovely Kirsty. She's my little Blythe doll. She's wearing a lovely dress sent to me by Tammy in a collaboration that we did just recently. Love these dresses, Tammy, I really do. So let's try the, her with her shoes on. We'll try. The Blythes do have quite small feet, so I think she'll go in the high top, but I think it'll be too big. But 
The thing is with them being big on a blithe, they sort of balance out the head a bit more. So yeah, she's got that on and it doesn't actually look too ridiculous with the size of her head, does it? Uh, she does also have her tights on, so that's probably why they fit her so well. And then the flatter ones should fit her even better because they're easy to get on. And yeah, they'll stay on. They, She's got her tights on and they stay on well with her tights on. And I do think if they had these shoes on, they would stand up easier because they do fall down a lot, these blithes do, don't you, babe? Yeah, she's my lovely. She's called Kirsty after Kirsty who gave her to me, love her. So that's, so we know that Blythe can wear them, but they are a bit big for Blythe also. So I have already shown them on a normal Barbie and they will fit her, but they are loose on her feet. So you can see they're very loose on her feet and the high tops, yeah, loose again. But I mean, for display, I think you could get away with it, but they are loose on this on this gorgeous girl. But for the curvy Barbies, they do fit better. Here's a curvy girl in the high tops and you can see they're not, they're a bit loose, but they're not as loose. And then in the normal trainers, they do fit a lot better and they're not actually that loose. They do fit her quite well my gorgeous vitiligo barbie her hair's actually quite nice you know I do like that hair on her it's nice and soft the next doll i've got to try is this moxie teen girl um her feet are bigger a lot bigger um and i think i don't know let's try and see I think they're going to be too wide to fit in but I'm going to give it a try and I'm not going to try too hard because she's got a jointed ankle and I don't want to break her ankle but yeah I think if forced <sighs> yeah they do fit her but I had to really force that on I mean they actually look really good on her don't they they're not loose or anything they do fit nicely in fact they're very good on her but I'm worried her foot's going to break when I take it out. So I think what I'm going to do is to warm up the shoe before I take it off. So do be very wary of that. Um, they fit her, but you've got to be careful putting them on and off. I don't, the last thing I want to do is break her ankle joint. Next, I've got this Disney Ariel doll. Her feet are tiny though. Look how tiny her feet are. I think they're a similar size to the live feet. So let's try. Yeah, they're, they're, really, they, they're really waggly on her. Not much good for you, are they, Ariel? Then I've got who I think is going to be the ideal candidate for these shoes. I've got a Ken. He's got no ankle joint. I've got this guy, look. Hmm. He was another happy male. Love him. So let's try him. I mean, the shoes, the shoes are quite flexible, but um, these high tops are not going to go on. Look, I'm really going to struggle to get them on him. I. I do think if I warmed them up, they would go on, but as it is, I can't, I can't get it on. But I do think he's going to fit the trainers really well. Having said that, he's got quite broad feet, so let's see. Oh yeah, they fit him so well, look at that. Yeah, they really do. They, they were a bit of a struggle to get on. Um, but because he doesn't have an articulated ankle, I'm not worried about breaking it, getting them on him. So, yeah, they fit the Kens really well. Um, I would use them for Kens. I would use them for Mycene Boys. I would use them for Curvy Barbies. But... And I would use them for the rest just for display, but yeah, I don't think they fit that well. I also have my 
rocker lol doll to try them on him he's got an articulated ankle and i don't want to break his ankle i'm not going to risk breaking his ankle to try them on him but if i can get them on quite easily i will do yeah um yeah i don't want to force that into there those high tops um you do have to try harder to get them on and i'm worried i'm going to break his foot so I've got them on him and they look good and they fit him well but I do think to get them off you've got to be very careful or you're going to break his ankle um, because it's articulated so just you know if you're going to put them on him warm him up to get warm the shoes up to get them on and off uh, that's what that's what I would do hey, somewhere I've got a rainbow high boy as well I'll fish him out and we'll try Try them on him too. Looking at his feet though, they look a lot fatter, so I'm not hopeful, but we'll give it a we'll give it a try. We'll take his sock off. But he again has the articulated ankles, so I mean, I love articulated ankles, but they're no good when you're trying to force them into a shoe that's too small. No. Uh, I can't even get his sock off. No, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way that foot's going to fit in there, is there? Look at that. They look fine like that, but look at the width of them. Yeah, there's just no way that's going to fit. But... At least we know now, don't we? So, I hope that video was useful to someone. I hope that video was useful to someone. If you have any more dolls you think I might have that they might fit, um, let me know and I'll try them on. Um, and I'll show them in a dolly business video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.